Do you want to learn how to go from this to this? If so, stay tuned for the tutorial. What you'll need are pipe cleaners, borax, one table measuring spoon, a measuring cup, a bowl deep enough to let your creation sit in overnight, and boiling hot water. Let's get started. So first what you're gonna do is make a creation out of pipe cleaners. It could be anything you want. It could be a shave, it could be a heart, it could be a snowflake, or it could even be letters. But just make sure at the end of your creation, you leave a long piece of pipe cleaner because you're gonna need this so that you could dip your creation into the hot water and borax mixture. So if you're younger, you're gonna definitely need an older person or a parent's assistance with this part because you're gonna be using extremely hot water. So you're gonna fill up your container with hot water and for every cup that you use, so you're gonna use your measuring cup, for every cup that you use, you're going to use four tablespoons of borax. And just because it's really extremely hot water, I'm not gonna do it right here on camera, but you'd use your measuring cup and fill up your container with your hot water all the way up and then you'll add your borax however much you need and then you will mix it together. After that step and you have your hot water filled up in your container, you're gonna take your creation, whatever you made, and you can make more than one if you'd like, and you're going to keep it in the hot water sitting overnight. So you may ask, how is it gonna stay just floating? What I've done is I've taped two pencils together and you take the little extra that you have at the end of your pipe cleaner and you just wrap it, see, you just wrap it around the pencil like that and it will sit in the water. Just make sure that your creations aren't touching each other and that it's not touching the bottom of the bucket and just leave it overnight because it needs a couple of hours to crystallize. Then the next morning you remove it from the water, put it on some paper towel to dry and voila! This is what you're left with. Crystallized creations and they look super awesome. And as you can see here, I've crystallized my whole name surprise toys inside and it looks super awesome. It looks so much better in person and I have this hanging up in my toy room. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!